Hey everybody, it's Peter One in here and welcome to my channel. In TikTok recently I did a video about how my minimalist philosophy contradicts with my creative writing uh, occupation and profession. And I'm going to expand more on that because I read um, some articles and writings by Alice Pung, P-U-N-G, who is a respected short story and novelist writer, novel writer. Um, and she's an admirer of John Marsden, who also writes a lot about uh, the philosophy of, of raising children to be their best and so on. But both of these writers um, espouse the idea of having rites of passage which are often harmful to animals and so on. And I wanted to delve into why I believe that the idea of experience and gaining human sovereignty is a bad thing. Um, even in this woke day and age when we're so censored, everything that we do is like bad and we, we have to reconsider everything that we do. Um, I still believe that we shouldn't be harming animals and I'm going to explain more about that. Now, the thing about me is that I have a very strong imagination and that's one of the things that really distinguishes me. Um, so... When I am really evil or something, or when I pretend to be really evil, I can make that imagination go long for a long time and a long distance. Um, I've done some... I haven't done anything particularly evil, but I have imagined doing a lot of evil things. And it's the imagination that I believe is the operative word here. One can imagine doing a lot of things and still have a very fulfilling life, one can write stories and creative fiction which are, which have evil components to them. But at the same time, one does not have to engage in those things. And I think the disparity between engaging and imagining um, is driving a lot of people um, to live very either, either very fruitless lives, very, um, very banal sort of lives, or they're going the other way and they're actually committing these crimes and having a huge amount of um, disparity with their society because they do commit um, all sorts of evil um, acts. Uh, and also, of course, um, doing legal things which are also evil, such as eating animals or consuming animals. So all the most of the sort of evil that I do is in the form of words um, and imagination. I am a very... Um, vehement debater, for example, and I will debate things to the end. Um, and words are how I, how I vent myself and my emotions a lot of the time. Um, in terms of violence and actions and acts of violence and guns and so on, I'm definitely anti-guns, um, including the guns of the police. So you can see where my position is on particular things. I have a very pacifist sort of outlook on life, but at the same time, in words and um, and in and in robust arguments, I'm very strong, and I'm very often engage in dramatic forms of evilness, if you like. So we come to a point where I'm talk. I want to talk about my teaching of a poem to some school students, which I'm going to be tutoring later on this week. Um, it's called The Jabberwocky. It's a poem by Lewis Carroll, which describes the the scariness of a particular mythical creature called the Jabberwocky and how he is slaughtered by a human. And, of course, this is the sort of thing that can easily be censored in this day and age because um, we're talking about animal rights and animal protection and so on. The Jabberwocky should be a protected species because it's a rare species, despite the fact that he is a carnivorous and seemingly horrible sort of um, mythical creature. So the question that that I'm going to I asked in vegan debate recently was um, should should we be, be should we be teaching um, these sorts of poems such as the Jabberwocky to to school children at this in this day and age, or should we be more politically correct and teach only things which teach us to be completely peaceful individuals. I think this is a huge disparity. And I also believe that, um, you know, teaching things which have inherent evil in them is not inherently a bad thing. 
Uh, and that's why a lot of my memes and my posts and so on have sort of discussions about the pros and cons of being nice and being bad and being evil and being good. Because I believe that the arena of discussing all of these things in the human psyche is an important part of the human psyche. So I will say that I admire the poem, the Jabbokhi, a lot. It's an amazing poem, and I would just like to read a bit of it for you. Um, so it's the language in this poem is, is immensely rich and um, immensely imaginative and powerful. So it starts off with the lines, "'Twas brillig, and the slyly toves did gyre and gimble in the wave." Or Mimsy with the borough groves and the moan wraths sound grave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird and shun the frimious bandersnatch. So, already from the second verse, we're looking at um, seeing particular animals or mythical creatures as enemies to the human existence, which of course they're not. Um, but as you can see, it's very antagonistic. And then it goes on. He took his vorpal sword in hand. So already, you know, the use of a sword, very, very uh, antagonistic from a human from a human point of view. And then eventually, he sl he slays the Jabberwocky. Um, and has stone slain the Jabberwock. Come to my arms, my beamish boy. Oh, fabulous day, Kalukale, he chortled in his joy. So it's like a sense of triumph, like the, the, something like the, the, um, Christian crusades or something where people are going on these missions to kill vast amounts of creatures, um, for their own human satisfaction. So my question is to you folks, do you think that teaching this sort of literature to children is a good thing or a bad thing? From my point of view, it's um, it's an acceptable thing, but I also think that ethics should be taught in schools and by tutors. And I'm going to t probably teach this poem to my students or students and at the same time teach them the ethics behind that and see how they react to that. It's an experiment in some form, but um, I think it'd be quite interesting to see what happens. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you next time with more news. Bye for now.